Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are doing good. The saga of raging leaks seem to be behind us, and now it's time we focus on the important topics. And one the major talking point that has come up in recent times is can Fulon Mendy be deployed in the centre back position? We know Carlo Ancelotti is going to experiment with his players. To be honest, he is inheriting one of the weakest Real Madrid squads in recent times, and to cope up with the loss of quality, he will have to try new things. He will have to experiment with his lineup, his tactics, and here Furlon Mendy looks set to be the first one to be experimented with. This certainly is a big question that needs to be addressed, so in this video, we'll try and analyze what to expect from Furlon Mendy as a centre-back, we'll also have a short discussion on Isco, and we'll contemplate on the recent words that Carlo Angelotti used for the veterans in the side. So we have a lot to discuss, and let's get started. Now firstly, starting with Furlon Mendy, the talks about him being deployed as a centre-back was first started by Jose Luis Sanchez on El Chiringuito. It happens to be a famous television show in Spain and he puts forward that Carlo Angelotti is citing Mendy as one of the options to fill the gap left by Ramos. Now we do know that Real Madrid currently are in the process of finding the best centre-back duo for the upcoming season. Obviously we may see some new arrivals and that will change the dynamic in the backline but for the moment let's analyse if Mendy can become a regular fixture right at the heart of a defence. And about Mendy we have done a season analysis in the past month we had discussed about how he went about his business in the 2020-21 season and if you had watched that video earlier we had discussed how Mendy was used as a left centre back when Zidane went to a back three and those games gave us glimpses of what Mendy can be playing in a more central position. But coming to the takeaways from the previous season Furlong Mendy defensively has never been a problem. He's solid in defence, he has the pace, the upper body strength and both these qualities make him a very tough defender to go pass it's not often that we hear that Mendy was beaten for pace and muscled off the ball on occasions he might be out of position but it's safe to say those moments are very rare so yes considering the above qualities are very much required for a center back of Madrid it is possible for us to try Mendy out in that position so may also put forward the argument that since Mendy has not shown us the progress that we would have liked in his offensive game he may be more suited to play as a central defender in that case he will not have to be ever involved in the offensive aspect of the game and that's a decent point which definitely makes a good case. Our expectation from Mendy joining an attack and putting in quality crosses has not been met this past season but again when we see Mendy playing in a centre back position especially with a back four we'll have to understand things in a broader perspective and firstly we'll have to talk about the requirements of a centre back of Real Madrid. And building on the point one of the key components that a central defender of Real Madrid needs to have is the ability to carry the ball forward and the ability to get involved in the builder play. He needs to help in building an attack from the back line and this is something that we used to get from Ramos and Sergio Ramos he used to do it with sheer class he would sidestep pressing attackers he would carry the ball beyond the first line of defense he would do a one-two with Modric and Cruz and Ramos also had the ability to switch play from one side to another and these qualities over the years have become so crucial in our style of play we like keeping the ball ball progression starts from the defenders and you consider the kind of football that Real Madrid want to display and more importantly the kind of football that we expect from Carlo Ancelotti. The centre-backs here has to be someone who is confident with the ball, likes keeping hold of position and then making the right decision and the right pass to evade the press and this is exactly where I think Mendy needs to polish himself. He's decent with the ball but he isn't the most confident player that you would come across when it comes to keeping possession. His awareness is good, he can clear incoming crosses but again he will need to be more accurate with his decision making and more precise with his passing game. If he can make these minor improvements he may just sustain as a centre-back of Real Madrid. He'll also be in charge of goal distribution. He will have to get involved in working in tight spaces just in front of goal. The pressure of playing just in front of the keeper and somewhere near the goal line that would also be an added responsibility and no doubt it's going to be a different challenge. He will be operating in different zones on the pitch. The demands of the position is different from that of left back and definitely he will be needing some good number of games to come to grips with the new position. So what I would say here is that Mendy can play as a centre-back but we'll need him to improve on some of the aspects of his game and of course there are things that can be improved upon, there are certain things that a player can improve, certain things obviously can be difficult to change at the age where Mendy stands at and it will be a big positional change for Mendy because he would be stepping into unventured territories. The other option of course is to use him in a three-man defence, Militao, Nacho and Mendy can be the trier holding the fort or it can be Militao, David Alaba 
and Furlon Mendy. These combinations are very much possible. Also, we'll have to see what role David Alaba would be playing this season. Many reports are still emerging that he doesn't want to play centre-back and would be eyeing a midfield role. So a lot depends on how Alaba would be used, but again, coming back to Mendy, if he is used as a left centre-back with a back four, I feel it can be a bit of a gamble. It may be a temporary solution, he can play there in a few matches and try to mix things up a bit, but it really depends on how willing Mendy is to undertake the challenge. Would he be comfortable playing in that position? Furlon Mindy first needs to ask that question to himself, and if he can do a decent job there, it may say a lot about how flexible a player Mendy can be. But if you'd ask me personally, I want Real Madrid to invest a bit in our defence. I personally want them to bring in a quality defender for the money that they will get from the sale of Varane, because I think after this summer, that is an area that really needs investment. We have lost quality this summer, so it's only sound logical to make amends and regain the quality from the transfer market. We are hearing that Giorgio Chiellini could be handed a one-year deal. He had an impressive Euros. We all saw the presence that he brings to whichever side he's a part of. But at this moment, I'll take the rumour with a grain of salt. Juventus themselves are offering Chiellini a one-year deal. And right now, I do not see supporting reports in the Spanish media, which would indicate that Chiellini is coming to Madrid. So let's see how the situation develops. The Varane deal is likely to go through in the next few days or even the next few hours. And we'll have to see what steps Real Madrid take to use the cash in the best possible way. But now if we move on to the next topic of the day and let's talk about Isco Alarcon and have a look at these pictures. The old Isco is back, he's finally got rid of his long hair, he has cut it short just like he had in the glorious years and can we possibly see old Isco back in terms of performance as well and honestly I want to see a rejuvenated Isco because prime Isco, what a player he was. He used to go on mazy dribbles, wiggle around defenders, get some crucial goals and surprisingly these qualities have all faded away in the last two years. Last year, he was particularly poor and it was looking like it was going to be his final season with Madrid. But the problem is, Real Madrid do not have many buyers for Isco. Certainly up till now, Real Madrid are yet to get an offer which would prompt a sale and recently Carlo Angelotti had some very interesting comments. Carlo Angelotti spoke at the club's official TV channel and there he spoke about his observations from his first day of training and he said, I really enjoyed finding two things, the quality amongst youngsters, many of whom I didn't know very well, and above all, the hunger and the commitment from the likes of Carvajal, Nacho, Marcelo, Lucas Vasquez, and Isco, who have won it all in recent years and still have great desire, excitement, and hunger to have a good season, which is what we are all looking to do. So those are quite interesting words from the manager, and from those words, it looks like he is going to try his best to reignite the fire in these veterans, and I think this is a mammoth task. We can all agree that we have complained about how Isco and Marcelo were nowhere near the level required at Madrid, but if we have a look at the history books we can see there have been times when a player after having a poor season has thrived under a different manager under different tactics in the subsequent season and it is possible that Angelotti may just get the best out of Isco. He's 29 years old so it may just happen and I hope you'll understand that I'm saying this with every bit of positivity left in me every bit of hope which I can find and for starters it is good to see that he has worked a bit on his physique. He looks to have lost a bit of weight and that surely is one step in the right direction. So it would be a massive challenge to get the best out of the likes of these veterans and judging by the quality of signings that we may see this summer, Ancelotti has no other option but to hope that the veterans step up the game and take more responsibility for their performances. In attack as well, Marco Sensio, he would be having a make or break season. Ancelotti will definitely need him to lead by goals and also a major task would be to make the best use of Odegaard and Valverde. He must make them play at a level which would establish them as fixtures in the he would also be focusing on the likes of Vinicius and Rodrigo. This is a different Real Madrid. It's not just about handling egos, finding the best tactics, but also Angelotti will have a crucial role to nurture the youngsters and develop them into the superstars of tomorrow. So Angelotti has some big questions to answer and only time shall reveal if Angelotti will have the solution to all our problems. So that is all I have here. Do let me know what are your thoughts on Mendy as centre-back and do you think there's any chance we'll get to see some Isco D this season let me know in the comments below i'll see you soon till then take care glory to madrid and as always a la madrid